And now we have the pleasure of Dr. William Petty, who will be speaking to us about hand hygiene. Okay, now why is alcohol the best? Well, many, many studies have been done against all kinds of bacteria and fungus and viruses and all the other things that you can think of. And look at ones that we've used, but they're not as effective for as many things as, al as alcohol. And that's why we've switched to alcohol. So it's not just because somebody in the gel system thinks you can put alcohol in there better than something else. There's a reason. And I'm glad there's a reason. It's a scientific reason. It's really useful in the ICU and the PACU. And for nurses and doctors that are putting an epidurals on OB so that they do this and wash their hands before they start the process. Better than water, soap and water. That's been shown many, many times. And you, you don't have to have any water, any uh, sink or anything. You can carry one right on your side, like back here with that spritz people. You can have it in your pocket. Look at all the dispenser kinds. So there's all kinds of dispensers, and all of them are alcohol. Now, there's still dispensers out there for soap. I'm not saying there isn't, but there is. But most of the ones in hospital and healthcare places are now switching to these kind of dispensers. And they have been for about, what, 10 years. You put on your belt so that you have it right here, and each time you squeeze it, if you buy the right cartridge and stuff, it puts a little number. One, two, three, four, five. It's kind of like exercising your hand, if you will. But it's a way to measure health or hand hygiene compliance. It's just another thing to help us on our way to get better compliance. And health hygiene can reduce HAIs and save a lot of money. And that's not, that's not the basic line. That's probably why your CEO sent you here. But the real reason we want to stop it is the reason that I believe in, and that's saving patients' lives. Saving morbidity and saving mortality. That's what it's all about. It's not about all this other fluff. I don't care how we do it. It's such a simple thing to so just do it. And we have it. So we have to motivate people. That's my summary. And now I'm going to turn over the time to uh, Dr. Rodney Ogren, who's going to tell you about the next. The Sprix device had, was nice for us in that it um, was able to record and um, you know, give us feedback on how well people were doing. And so we had some measure where we could actually show either an increase in uh, provider um, ability to utilize and wash their hands during an operative case. And, and so from, with that data, we were able to show a significant reduction in contamination to patients' IV tubing and ultimately, potentially, a reduction in uh, morbidity and uh, um, post-op infection rates. Well, the centerfold was uh, body-attached alcohol gel dispensers. That's what made the difference. Uh, the healthcare workers that participated in this did so voluntarily. And they're still able to accomplish what they've accomplished yet. As far as compliance and monitor is concerned, they, were only, they only brought the data to their attention every 90 days. So we know uh, when the CDC and uh, the World Health Organization says that you need to make alcohol gel dispensers uh, accessible and easy to use, Come on, just one squirt and you got it. That's all there is right. Because I read about yeah, that yeah, study of hand washing for anesthesia providers, so I looked up Sprix. So, and then I called perfect. Rodney and he called me back and we've been together ever since. We're gonna stop these infections. I could use it today in place of having to put them on the walls because they'd have it right with them and they could use it every day, all day. With this body thing you could do away with all the other dispensers and have it right there for them and that would really change the difference in infection in those countries. I've seen it and I know it would happen. We're going to stop these infections. Thank you. Yeah.